welcome back to my channel. In this video, I use the Courtney X Kylie collection to create this makeup look. It's more of like a halo eye. So I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe down below if you are new to my channel. And just let me know in the comments down below any other videos you would like to see from me next. And with all that being said, let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, so I have already done my brows and prepped my eyes for the eyeshadow, which is some concealer and setting powder. And we're just going to jump straight into the eyeshadow. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using all three of the eyeshadow palettes that came in the Courtney X Kylie Cosmetics Collection. And I'll just quickly show you guys through them. So first we have the pink palette and this is just what it looks like on the inside i love these shades they're just so pretty and you've got three shimmers and one matte this is more so if like you're on the go and you just like want one crease shade and one shimmer shade on the lid and you just like want to look somewhat put together you probably won't be able to use this one palette on like a day-to-day -day basis just because it's only got one matte shade but if you are that kind of person that just like wants one crease shade and then one shimmer shade on the lid then this would be great for you next up we have the blue palette this one's also a pretty neutral palette you can see there's two shimmers and two mattes it's a bit more wearable because here you have two mattes this is kind of like a purpley brown sort of color you can't really tell much on the camera it looks more brown but in person it definitely looks a bit more purpley and then this is more like a pure gold shade so that's really pretty and then lastly we have the green palette and this one here is definitely a bit more dramatic you've got like a cool tone crease shade uh like a cool tone gray sort of like a platinum -y type of shimmer shade and then you have this green one called matcha and then you have a matte red shade and this kind of reminds me of her naughty palette from her christmas collection it's just got similar shades to the shades in that palette so yeah let's just get started with the eyeshadow look so the first thing i'm going to do is go in with the pink palette and i'm just going to be going in with this shade here called the queen and i'm just going to apply that as my transition shade okay just quickly there is quite a bit of kickback in there but if you know me you know i don't really mind that because that just means that they're going to be more pigmented because the pigment isn't pressed really hard into the pan and i'm a huge lover of kylie's eyeshadows i think they work really well so I'm excited to give these a go. So now I'm going to the blue palette and I'm picking up this sort of neutral brown shade here called Calabasas. And I'm just picking it up with my Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. And I'm just going to apply that into my crease and on the inner and outer corners of my eyes because I want to be creating a halo eye for today's look. Okay, so that shade was so pigmented and blended out so easy. I'm so impressed. So now I'm just going to blend that out with my brush that I use for my transition shade. But I'm not picking up any extra eyeshadow. I'm just blending the two shades together. So it's all nice and seamless. Okay, so now I'm just going to quickly explain to you guys what I'm going to do for the halo eye. So usually I do the darker shades and then I put the sort of like halo effect on my eyes. But this time I'm going to do like the halo effect first. So I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm just going to quickly explain to you guys what I'm going to do. So first I'm going to grab my Kylie Cosmetics Skin Concealer. This is in the shade Pearl, so it's the lightest one in the whole shade range. And I like to use a super light concealer when doing like cut creases and this type of halo eye because then it will really make the shimmer shade or whatever shade you put on top of the concealer more bright and stand out a bit more. So yeah, I'm using this concealer here. And then I'm just going to be applying it with my B10 brush by Morphe. But I might switch to the R42 brush by Morphe when I want to get a bit more precise. I'll see if I use that. And then I'm going to just set the concealer with the RCMA No Color Powder. So basically what I'm going to do is just apply this concealer to the center of my lids. And then just like tap on the edges to sort of like blend it out. I actually haven't done a halo cut crease like this in a while. So hopefully this goes okay. And I like to take the concealer a bit over my crease because I do have hooded eyes. And now that I've done that, I'm going back into the blue palette and I'm just going to be picking up this 
sort of plum shade called Bible. And I'm just going to be applying that to the inner and outer corners of my eyes with my 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush by Zoeva. And I'm going to bring a little bit above the crease too. I should have probably applied this shade before cutting the crease, but your girl didn't really think, so it's whatever. I'll probably end up going back in with the concealer just to make that straight line again. And I'm just going to go back in with my crease shade and my crease brush just to blend out that purpley shade. Okay, now to just blend that out again, I'm going in with the first brush I used, the Morphe E23, just to make sure it's all blended nicely. I'm actually going to go back into the pink palette and pick up a little bit of the transition shade we used. And now from the green palette, I'm just going to pick up this red shade here called Maze, just with a pencil brush and I'm just going to apply that to the inner and outer corners of my eyes. And now just with the brush we used before, the 231 by Zoeva, I'm just going to blend out that red shade a bit. And now again, I'm just going back in with Calabasas and my crease brush and applying it into my crease again. I know I'm going back and forth with a lot of shades, but I just want to make sure that it's all blended seamlessly and all the shades go well together. And I kind of like made that mistake with the, doing the concealer that early. I should have been doing it now, but it's all good. We live and we learn. So yeah. Okay, so I just went back and reapplied some of that concealer. Now we're going to move on to the shimmer shades for the lid. So what I'm going to be doing is picking up my Detail Shader Brush by Zoeva. And I'm going to spray it with my Mario Badesco Rosewater Spray. My Rosewater Sprays, this is a new bottle. They've always got a really shifty nozzle thing on there and they never spray right. It's so annoying. Literally just bought a new one for that reason. And the one I bought doesn't spray right either. But... I'm going to go back in to the pink palette and I'm going to be going in with the shade Gluten Free and I'm just going to apply that on top of the concealer. And I'm just going to tap it on the edges here, but it's alright, we're going to end up blending it out even more. Okay, that shade looks so pretty. It did though have quite a bit of fallout. Okay, now so what I'm going to do is go in with my crease brush and sort of tap on the edges. I'm actually going to pick up a little bit of the crease shade Calabasas again. Just that neutral brown shade. Just a little bit of it. And then tap on the edges here. And this is just all about going back and forth until you get your desired outcome. I'm going to go back in with a tiny bit of Bible and a smaller brush to just help blend that out even more. And now going back in with my pencil brush and a little bit of Mace, the red shade. I'm just going to apply a tiny bit of it to the inner corners and outer corners once again. Now I'm just picking up this shade Poosh from the pink palette and I'm just going to be applying that with my wet brush to just the center of my lids just to bring a bit more dimension. And I'm just adding a little bit of the crease shade again. And I'm just going to finally finish it off just by blending again with the transition shade brush. No extra shadow on the brush though. So now just quickly off camera I'm just going to clean up the edges of my eyes and any of the fallout underneath my eyes where his a super up close look there was a bit of fallout with the shimmer shade gluten free but other than that no fallout and the shades blended and applied so easily and yeah now just don't mind my flyaways but we're moving on to the face and before i actually started my makeup off camera i already applied my Smashbox photo finish foundation primer so I've already applied my primer and now I'm so excited because I'm finally getting to try out the new NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and this is apparently meant to last over 16 hours or something like that and it's meant to look glowy and super nice. 
So I'm so excited to try this out. I've heard a lot of good things about it. And you guys know that the She Glow by NARS is my favorite foundation. And the shade Light 2 Mont Blanc is literally my perfect foundation shade I've tried of all foundations I've tried before. And yeah, this is of course that same shade Mont Blanc. And I'm so excited to try this out. So you've just got to shake it up first. And then I'm just going to grab my damp black beauty blender and just apply it with that. You want to make sure you put it on your ear as well, so it all blends nicely. Okay, so the foundation is on and it looks really, really nice. I'm so impressed. I look crazy because I don't have any concealer on, but I'm actually really impressed with it. It didn't accentuate the texture on my forehead. It actually made my like, cheeks look pretty smooth as well, so I'm liking it so far. We'll keep using it and see how I go with that, but so far, so good. So I'm gonna be moving on to concealer, and of course I'm gonna be using my Kylie Cosmetics Skin Concealers. These are literally the only concealers I have at the moment, so sorry I use them all the time, but they're actually really good. So I'm basically gonna be applying the shade Stone, just like underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, above my lips, and on my chin as well, as I always do. And then I'm gonna be applying the shade Pearl in those areas as well, but I'm only gonna apply a little bit of it just to make it a bit more bright. And of course, I'm blending it out with my black damp beauty blender. This concealer always blends so easily. It's so good. And now I'm just going to quickly bake underneath my eyes and on my nose with the RCMA No Color Powder. Please let me know in the comments what under eye setting powders you like to use because I literally always use this. And I want to try some more but I find that the Laura Mercier one is too yellow for my skin tone. And I kind of want to try the Kat Von D one but I'm not sure so let me know which ones you guys like. Okay, and now I just also lightly baked my lash lines so they don't crease. But now I'm going in with the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Face Powder. This is in the shade Light Plus. Haven't used this in a while, so I thought I would use it again today. And I'm just going to set the rest of my face with it. I'm just using the Zoeva Powder Brush. Now I'm just going to wipe away the bake. And now I'm going to be going in with contour. So I'm just going in with this NYX contour palette. And I'm going to just contour my nose first with the Morphe M139 brush. And I'm just going to be picking up this shade here. And now just contouring the rest of my face with the R5 Morphe brush. Okay, now we're moving on to bronzer. So I'm going in with my Kylie Cosmetics Cocoa Collection Face Palette and just picking up the bronzer here. And I'm just going to use my Morphe M177 brush. I love using this brush for bronzing. I like to go heavy with the bronzer on my forehead. I have quite a big forehead so, you know, I love to bronze it up. Okay, now just with my powder brush, I'm just going to blend out the bronzer just to dilute it a little bit and blend it out. Now just with this tapered brush by Morphe, it's the R36 brush. I'm just going to spray it with my Mara Badesco Rose Water Spray. And I'm just going to dry it off a little bit because I don't like going in with the highlight I'm going to be using too wet because then it'll make it look too streaky because it's such a pigmented highlight and the highlight I'm going to be using is the Kylie Cosmetics Ultra Glow in the shade Santorini. This is like my favorite highlight ever. It's the perfect shade for my skin tone and it's blinding. It's seriously amazing and yeah that's why you don't really need your brush to really be that wet when using it because you don't want to apply it too much and have it look super streaky and then not be able to blend it out. So I just like the brush to be a little bit damp. I like to apply some above the brow as well. So it will just give your brows a bit more of a lifted look. And at this point, my brush is dry now. And I'm not going to wet it again because you don't need to. And I'm just going to apply some on my chin as well. Now just with my ring finger, I'm going to highlight my nose. 
And now for blush, I'm going into the Kylie Starry. This is from the Valentine's Day collection last year. And I'm picking up the shade First Date, which is this like corally sort of peachy one here. But this is actually a permanent blush now, which is actually called X-rated. So you still can actually buy this blush. And I'm just using it with a brush from her birthday collection. All right, and now we're pretty much done with the face. We're just gonna finish off the eyes. Okay, so with the eyes, I'm going to be going in with the tiniest bit of Mace, the red shade, and just apply it to the inner and outer corners of my lower lash line with my pencil brush. And now just with this eyeshadow brush, this comes with the dose of colors Baked Brands eyeshadow palette. I'm just gonna go in with this shade Calabasas and smoke out my lower lash line. I seriously love this Calabasas shade. It's so pigmented. It's such a nice brown neutral shade. It's like perfect. And just make sure you connect the lower lash line with the rest of the eyeshadow. Okay, and I'm just going to further blend out the lower lash line with the pink palette and this shade, The Queen, just because we apply this as our transition shade and this will just really tie everything in together. Now lastly for the eyes, I'm going to be picking up my detail shadow brush again and just spraying it with my Mario Badescu spray. I'm going to be picking up the shade Oosh that we used earlier and I'm going to be applying that to the inner corners of my eyes. I'm going to go back and apply a little bit more to the lid of that shade. Now I'm just going to finish off the eyes by highlighting my brow bones with my Ultra Glow highlight that I used on my face. Now I'm just going in with my Zoeva 224 brush just to blend it out. Okay, now just before I finish it off with the lashes and lips, I'm just going to set my face using the Myra Disco Rose Water Spray and hopefully this will spray okay on my face. Okay, I don't know why it's been annoying. It just sprayed a huge drop like every here and there. But now I'm just going to try it off. But now we're moving on to lashes. So I'm quickly just going to curl them. Okay, now just off camera, I'm going to just finish off my lashes. So I'm going to apply the Volume Million Lashes Mascara by L'Oreal. And then apply, this is in a Lily Lashes box, but they're not Lily Lashes. Um, the flatter lashes in the style captivating. So I have all the products I use listed down below in the description box anyway. But yeah, I'm just going to quickly do that off camera. I did just upload a video on how I apply my false lashes. So that will be linked down below if you're interested in that. But yeah, I will be right back. Okay, so now I am pretty much done. I just have to do my lips and I'm so, so excited. You guys, I got all three of the lipsticks as well. And this packaging is so nice. Hold on, it looks upside down. Here we go. This packaging is just so nice. I love it. And there are three different shades. And I love that with these shades, they're like supposed to coordinate with each of the palettes. So to match with the pink palette, we have this sort of like, it's the most like a nude shade out of the three. And it's in the shade French Kiss. That's just an up close of it. And as you can see, it's got pink lid and pink writing to match with the pink palette. And I'm really gravitating towards using this one today. It's so pretty pretty and I think it will match this look perfectly. And then with the green palette we have this shade called Mini. It's sort of like between a pink and a raspberry type of shade. I don't know how to explain it but it's really really nice. I really like the shade. It could even match this look as well. That is an option as well. And then lastly we have the boldest shade of them all and it's called Rad and it looks amazing. It's like this bright orange sort of color and it looks so good it won't really match this look but i cannot wait to wear this because it's so vibrant and i love it just gonna pick between these two shades i just don't know if going with the mini will bring too much color to the look but i really like this shade and i really want to try it out and also they're all the velvet formula not the matte formula which the velvet formula is amazing i know this one will definitely go but i kind of want to give this one a go i want to try mini so i'm just going to go ahead with my dolce k lip liner it's just a nude brown shade anyway so as long as you can use a nude it should be fine okay and now i'm going to be applying mini to my lips
I don't think this really matches the look, but it is a really nice color. But I'm going to remove this color and go in with the shade French Kiss instead because this shade will definitely match more. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in with French Kiss. I really like this shade. Okay, this lip definitely matches better but yeah this is the look so that is it for this video i really hope you guys liked it and learned something from it if you did like it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and be sure you subscribe if you are new to my channel you know the usual stuff um but yeah also let me know in the comments down below what other videos you would like to see from me next i absolutely love this collection i'm so so impressed when i checked the kylie cosmetics website this morning everything was sold out but you guys did still want to see a video using this because i asked you on my instagram yes yeah, so i still used it and i'm not sure if she's going to be restocking anything maybe she'll do a little restock of some things i'm not too sure but if you do have this collection i hope this video helped you out and yeah i hope you guys like this makeup look as well and i'll see you in my next one bye